Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content, in boxing, and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, man, this is going to be the aftermath of last night's PBC on Fox with Julian J. Rock Williams versus Jason Rosario. And, dude, this fight was a freaking huge upset in this damn fight man you gotta do like julian j rock williams who was coming off one of the best wins of his damn life being able to get those damn titles from jared swift heard going up against a dude like jason rosario who I did not think was going to be that much of a threat to a dude like Julian Williams, especially with the couple of wins that Jason Rosario is coming off of. One of those wins is a split decision win over Jorge Cota, a dude who was easily knocked out by a dude like Jamel Charlo. But going into this fight, I definitely thought that Julian J. Rock Williams was going to have a huge advantage with the momentum that he does have coming off of that damn herd win with the skills that he was able to display in that fight, being able to outbox a dude like Jared Swift Heard, showing excellent head movement, excellent defense, being able to work off of the jab, working his combinations, going up against a dude like Jason Rosario, who is a good boxer, has a very good jab, very good with his combinations, but at the same time, definitely can look lackluster in the ring and definitely puts himself in compromising positions in the damn ring, something that I thought would definitely benefit a dude like Julian J. Rock Williams. But going into this fight, dude, this was a friggin' really really damn good fight man and the one thing that i noticed about jason rosario coming into the fight that was different from watching them in the weigh-ins was jason rosario looked freaking huge compared to a dude like julian j rock williams and when they went into that damn fight the one thing that i could give julian williams in this damn fight is that he did a very good job being able to work off of the jab being able to use his counters and being able to work his combinations in this damn fight. But the one thing that I saw that started to be very detrimental in this damn fight going into the first round is that Julian J. Rock Williams started countering Jason Rosario's jab, being able to come over the top with the right hand. But when I saw that Jason Rosario was able to take the right hand of Julian J. Rock Williams and just keep on coming, I knew that this was going to be a tough ass fight. And the one thing that Jason Rosario was doing very well in this damn fight are four different things. He had a superb jab in this damn fight being able to double the jab triple the jab in this damn fight being able to work his combinations very well in this damn fight working off of that damn jab the body work that jason rosario was putting on a dude like julian j rock williams in this damn fight and the last thing that was very detrimental to a dude like Julian J. Rock Williams in this fight was that counter right hand of Jason Rosario in this damn fight. Something which I thought that cut open the eye of Julian J. Rock Williams in that damn second round because Jason Rosario definitely did a very good job being able to counter the jab of Julian J. Rock Williams and able to pull from Julian Williams straight right and being able to counter with his own straight right of a dude like Julian J. Rock Williams. And this fight was literally dead even to me. I actually gave both of these fighters two rounds going into that damn fifth round when Julian Williams got stopped in that damn round. But what really caught off a dude like Julian Williams was his unwillingness to use his footwork and to use his lateral movement, not staying in front of a dude like Jason Rosario who definitely did a very good job being able to work his jab and his combinations, being able to time a dude like Julian J. Rock Williams. And in that fifth round, when Jason Rosario hit Julian Williams with that left hook in the middle of them exchanging combinations, you could clearly tell Julian Williams was effed up, started wobbling all over the ring, and Jason Rosario straight up pounced on Julian Williams, hitting him with hooks uppercuts hitting him with hooks to the body had julian williams staggering all over the ring 
trying to clinch with a dude like Jason Rosario falling down to the ground trying to clinch with Rosario and when the referee waved it off as a slip and Williams got back up Jason Rosario pounced back on him hit him with a vicious uppercut while he was on the ropes had friggin Williams staggering all over the ropes and it forced the referee to come into this damn fight to stop the damn fight dude so you gotta give this dude Jason Rosario all of the credit in the world being able to come off of the wins that he had going into this fight as a huge underdog and now becoming a friggin unified champion in that damn 154 pound division being able to get the WBA IBF and having the IBO championship belts and hopefully being able to match up with the dude like Jamel Charlo who has came out calling out Jason Rosario to be able to unify to see who will be the undisputed champion in that 154 pound division now going into the future with Rosario the one thing that I can definitely see is that damn unification happening with the dude like Jamel Charlo who like I said came out publicly calling out a dude like Rosario and he definitely looks like he's chomping at the bits to be able to get his hands on a dude like Rosario and the best thing about this matchup is with both of them being on PBC I can definitely see this fight getting made later on this year with no kind of hiccups, no kind of roadblocks to stop this damn fight. And when this fight does happen, dude, this will definitely be an exciting fight and definitely will be a very meaningful fight for that damn 154 pound division to see who will be the undisputed champion at the super welterweight division, okay, you guys? So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up, all right? So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.